Hello everyone, this is David Herman. Thank you for watching The Purple Angel Wing Part 5. We are about to draw. And uh, Part 4, near the end, it decided to freeze up on me. So here's the very end that I had saved as far as uh, a file. And I'm going to add the yellow again that you saw in part four and continue. Uh, that's all that we had. A little bit of a setback, but no biggie. So let's scale this puppy up a little bit. And move it to the left of the screen. I'm going to bring these feathers up big there. And I'm going to add some yellow like I was doing before in the fire of the wing. Uh, so let's get some sweet yellow here. You kind of see me picking in the lower right of the screen there. I'm looking at colors. There we go. That is a yellow. Let's get that one. Let's go with the figure out our brush size. Look at the upper right. I'm going to set a brush. You see that fuzzy little thing moving around? We're going with the, about that size, about a 40 ish opacity around 19 and let's see what we get here let's yes that looks cool so we'll bring it up light and a little more intense as it feathers out to the edge build it up a little bit midway and then kind of feather it just to the edge I've widened it up a little bit. You can see in the very top feather on the upper right hand corner. And then we're going to intensify it just a little bit in the center there. We're pressing harder and going back and forth. See? So now the light is there. And I'm just going to feather that edge out by pressing and dragging. Okay. Now, we'll come down to the next one. You get to watch me do this. So this might be a little hidden by the one above, kind of shaping. And I got a step away, I forgot. I have my uh, water bubbling on the stove for coffee. Oops. Hang on, folks. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I was making coffee, so uh, good to go. All right, now let me get back to my tablet. You get to hang out with me in my house here. Okay, so uh, here we go. I'm going to do a little uh, more yellow down here. We're into the third feather from the top down. Just kind of build a little light in this edge. Come bring it forward like an airbrush. Just like you're whiffing on your airbrush you're opening it up a little bit to let more air push that pigment out but instead we're doing it on a tablet we're just pushing a little electronic pencil around pen as they call them so drag it out just kind of feather it yeah see so this is kind of what I lost at the end so I'm gonna do a save as just so we don't screw this up this time and I'm gonna change the name to the five and we do that Let's see if it saved it Yes, good. Okay. 
might be a little more cautious about saving stuff, you know. Computers, they get all wonky because I have a tendency to create a lot and then it's got a shitload of information it's got to process into a picture. And, um, I'm not helping the cause by not paying attention. So, I'm paying attention. See, these are coming out really sweet. Less is more always. Remember that? Don't put a shitload of stuff in. You're putting these in and they kind of have some overlap and stuff. We're going to get into that with a little more shading after. But uh, there we go. Oh, yeah. It's looking sweet, 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 sweet. You know, so never freak out too much. Just remember to save, rename things. Sometimes you got to save a file two or three times, different names, just so you don't kill it like I do. <clears throat> oh, my God, can I do things over and over because I'm just a distracted artist, to be honest with you. Every five minutes or something in my head going, squirrel, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at over there, look at that, think about that, remember that? You didn't finish that. Hey, go back to that. So I have to rein my mind in part of being creative. Um, you get better at it, but it takes a long time in life. Let me tell you, you're going to put some years in like I have. I'm pretty loony, buddy. Let's get a little light there. Yeah, I'm liking that. Okay, save this again. We just keep moving along and saving. Let's uh, save as. Same thing. Dun, boom. Do you know you want to replace it? Yes, I do. Okay. Now, I'm going to get some of these purple lines out of here. So I'm going to go down to my uh, purple line work. I'm going to switch over to eraser at the upper right. And let's take a look at the upper right there, upper top ones. We're going to look at the lines you can see if I can make these disappear so we can figure out the layer that they're on line work one let's see if that line is there uh, no line work two is it on two no so you check the next one is it on three uh, no did it sneak into four no and so on this is what layers are for Wing details. I might have snuck it in on a wing detail. There it goes. See, it's the fourth feather down. You see me erasing? So if you set your eraser just to erase, you click on that in Mischief, the upper right-hand corner there where it says Brushes or Erasers in English. Just hit Eraser. Select your type, your size, the diameter of your brush. And then instead of changing that to white, because if you're on a white background, you would do that. We're on a color, so I don't set it to anything, to be honest with you. What I do is just go over it with the blank eraser, and it takes the paint off. Kind of a neat little trick. Probably everybody knows it, but uh, hey, that's what I do. See these extensions way out here on the upper second one down from the top? Let's go to the first one up there and see if we can get some of some of that lines. Okay. It keeps it from being too messy. Sometimes I like that stuff when I'm doing my art, you know. Sometimes I don't. So now there's a little red on the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh feather down. Let's find that layer. It's probably on the red tints. And away it goes. See? Getting rid of that fuzz around the point. Just a little too much fuzz. And when you do these things in layers like that, boom, you can find it so fast. Okay, so let's go back up here. We're on our red tint layer. And we're going to throw some yellow in on that layer still. So I'm going to hit my yellow square, change my color to yellow, and go back to the brushing. Because you want to be in brushes, you don't want to be in your eraser. And we're just going to put a little yellow down here around the fifth or so. See that in there? Cool. Don't like it. Let's undo that. Um, okay. 
I want a smaller brush tip, to be honest with you. Oh, whoa, come back here, you. Do, 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 do. Okay, I was on cycle layers. I want to be on brush size on my, tab, my, tab, my tablet, so let me dial that in. Now, get that yellow brushes. So watch here, we're kind of just going to show you like we're down at the tip of one of these. You can see me adding some fine line of it there. See that? Isn't that cool? Okay, now let's widen that brush a little. Kind of fade it in. See me mixing it in there just with the pressure of my hand. And if you think it's too much density or something, reduce your opacity and then put it in even softer, building it up little by little, you know? So, kind of cool. Just look at the screen. Don't look at your tablet so much. If you use a separate tablet like me, now if you're fortunate enough to be drawn right on your monitor with a pen like you have a Cintiq or you have a uh, Microsoft Surface or you have Microsoft's new book, something where you can draw right on them with pens, it's cool. Uh, there's one coming out uh, next year by Lenovo that's going to be a badass. The Yoga has partnered up with the Wacom, so you'll be able to buy a computer and draw right on it with the Wacom. This would be so cool. A couple more years they'll have it all worked out and then I'll operate again, but you know, I'm Currently working on an Asus that I've had for uh, about a year and a half, almost two years. I uh, yeah, a year and a half, maybe two years. And uh, I'm happy with it. So until they really come out with something swanky, and uh, <laughs> I'm ready to go drop some money again. You know how that is. No matter what you buy, eventually something cooler comes out. And uh, I can wait. And that's how I waited to get this one. And I will wait to get the next one. Because that's the way I roll. Alright, let me put this opacity up a little bit so I can see what I'm doing here in a second. Winged second feather down at the top. Doesn't seem... Oh, I see it's... Okay, wait a minute. Let's... Uh, let's... Let's figure out what's why it's drawing away from the wing. Isn't that weird? I can never figure out what I hit to do this. Let's see. Rotate. Cycle. Brush size. Let's go to eraser for a minute. Let's uh, get that out of there. So we're going to take this yellow band off of here first. Uh, I think i got to save this file. Save as. It does a wonky thing. I'm not quite sure how I do that. But now it should synchronize up. There you go. There's something I'm hitting that's unsynchronizing the uh, color to the pen sometimes. And that's a big mystery. It's something I hit on my tablet. I think it's when I cycle through layers and I'm not in the brush. Okay. Let me bring this back up. And move it into position with my fingers. I'm doing a two-finger grab on this wonderful Wacom Pro tablet, the Intuos Pro. Okay. So I just look, again, right at my laptop screen. I've got my tablet sitting in my lap, my actual lap. And uh, I just follow my cursor. You can't see the cursor because I haven't figured out how to synchronize it with this uh, screen capture program. I'm using OBS, but apparently uh, if you're in game mode or in monitor capture, you're using different graphic. I have a NVIDIA card in this and there's also an Intel processor and somehow it doesn't synchronize those two unless you know all the millions of little tabs to click on. But uh, it's not as important as we like to think for me to do a demonstration. So uh, no biggie that you can't see, uh, what do you call it? 
my cursor. So now I'm going to go cycle through these palettes. You see in the lower right, I'm moving the palettes there. I'm looking for a light purple. I like this one. I'm going to come back up to the top and then look to the left of the fire. You'll be able to see me drop some light purple into the wings up there. So uh, density is right, thing is right, everything's right. I'm going to pop a new layer and I'm going to call this one accents. So I can do some accents up here. So I want to be in the brushes. See that purple, light purple going on to the left of the top fire part of the wing. Right in that left there, see? I'm shaping it like it's uh, a coating on the outer edge of that wing. Bringing it in. Building it up at the very top there to the left of the orange and red. Right on the high plane. <sighs> yes. Now we're going to change the tip. Let's uh, cycle through brush sizes. Okay, I'm picking one. You see it at the upper right. You can see when I'm cycling with my finger on the tablet, you can watch those numbers change in the upper right hand screen and you see the green line changing. So I've made my brush tip around a 25. And, you know, you can always stop and start these things and take these settings because, you know, I just have done it long enough where I can uh, visualize what I'm doing. But, and if I don't like it, I just, you know, undo. <laughs> That's how I roll. <laughs> I'm not afraid to make mistakes. We have undo, you know. I don't have to redraw this like I painted it on a piece of 100-pound uh, cold-pressed board, cardboard. Uh, and it's a start over, you know, where I go nuts, throw everything around the studio and go bonkers. In the old days, now we just uh, undo, baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is getting to be fun. The reason I'm sticking with this and going through five is to discipline myself to learn the tools that I really want to do because I intend eventually to make really good instructional videos. But uh, I'm not too good at running all this by myself just yet. So uh, over the next few years as I age and get this together, I'll be some appreciative stuff, believe me. Although this angel wing is pretty pimp, I intend to uh, complete this wing, mirror image them, and try and figure out how to get these on a t-shirt. This is going to be uh, custom. In fact, I might even put them on a jacket. So I'm going to find out how to print out like a stencil I can just iron right on my coat. Should be pretty cool. I got like a nice black coat that these would look cool on the back on. So I'm working away on New Year's, as you know. This is New Year's. Uh, 12-31-2015. 31, so happy New Year's to you cats and ladies and pussy cats. Uh, do we like this little smoky edge that we're doing down here? Yeah, it's an accent. I'm cool with it. Okay. So now I'm going to think up here in the top, I have this heavy red up there. I'm going to make that like a split, like I was looking at, say, a bird of paradise flower, and that's open. And I'm going to have it some shading below. Uh, hmm. I want to do that like this, you see? Just kind of darkening up some stuff like it's in the shadow. It's hard to, uh, yeah. When you're doing color, it's a little bit 
it's not as forgiving as black and white you know you can think around black and white but when you're in color you gotta kind of be on because you know that's that's what I say there we go see we're darkening up some of these and then we're gonna hit those with an eraser once I get some of this shadow in some folds, feather stuff. A lot of times, if you're using too small of a brush diameter, it'll look streaky. So you want to go as big as you can without fuzzing over into something else. And just make long sweeping strokes, push, pushing your pressure, you know, on your tablet. So you set a light density. Listen to me careful. Set a light density, and then apply pressure with your finger, your hand to the tablet with your pen, electronic pen. And the more pressure you apply, the darker it draws. And then you start going lightly back and forth over and over. I use this even in my tattooing. If I'm building up a shadow, a lot of guys set up 30 you know, different grays, man. I just use one black with, uh, I mix it with some special ingredients. I get my black and then uh, it's about a 10% density. So I tattoo, that's the lightest. And then if I want more, I go over it and keep building it up in increments of 10%. But I do it all by eye, of course, because I've done it for over 17 years, tattooing. All right, now we're getting somewhere with this wing. That's looking really beautiful. Now, I don't like some of these tips again, so I'm going to go over to my eraser. And I'm just going to erase back a little bit of this stuff. You know, feel free to go back and rework your stuff. And then if you went too far, you can undo. Watch. Edit. Undo. Even in an erase. See? So, just like when you apply the pigment, when you take off the pigment, if you think you've taken too much off, just undo. Undo is awesome. It's the power of computing. You know, to be take you fear away of error you're not going to make errors now every one of these tips don't necessarily have to be spectacularly perfect but you know why not <laughs> if you can do it why not you know if you can get in there play with them uh, I like to you have the opportunity so you know just you don't know what layer you're on just click a different layer each time till you find it but it'll be there see now we found that I'm taking off the third one down just softening that back a little it's a harsh edge some of this stuff I like it a little more mystical Okay. Now, yeah, okay. Now we're going to go back in with some purple. I'm going to go back to wing detail layer, hit myself up a purple, put that down on a palette. Go to a really fine brush tip. I mean, dial it down. Well, add a little line work. Uh, Got to be in brushes. And let's just dial that puppy down to about a five. And carefully add. See that? The second one down kind of very thin line I mean this is a six point line like if you had a tech pen supposedly 
It's actually finer than that, though. This is pretty freaking fine. And then we're kind of we're going to use some of that shadow that was out there. I'm going to bring this top one together. my eraser and dial some of that out oh yeah and let's save I'm gonna make us all think about that he wants to know do I want to replace yes I do okay let's go down to the third one down and dial that in a little bit. I'm going to get the brushes, not eraser. Just putting a very fine edge to this. Electronically this is tricky. So I'm looking at the monitor. Uh, people got all kinds of gimmicky ways they do things. If I want to do something, I'd do it. You know, I'm doing it the way I want to do it. I just keep erasing. And all right, those three look good. I want to take the next one, fourth one down, just slightly building a shape. So I like to smooth them out a little bit, extend it. There we go. And the next one down, I'm on number five. Kind of just. Bring it into focus a little bit just by making a clean edge. And erase a little bit as you go along. You can come back, you can hit it. You now, just that way you don't have to look for this layer later. Just hit it as you do it. Save her up. Now we're getting somewhere, I see. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. I'm going to see how that looks far uh, when you take that far away. See, so now you got that kind of a crisp. It's nice because if I have it laying on fabric or something too, which I haven't figured out how to do it, but we're talking about that. I think I want that little bit there just to define it. In the end of this, I may put some whites in and stuff for us, but right now, right now I'm just doing what I've been doing, and it's working. So I'm liking it. I'm not a big. F I'm a. I will use white in a different way at the end. It's going to look like uh, electromagnetism. So it'll be like uh, energies zipping around. Uh, so right now, I'm just kind of fine-tuning this thing is probably six thousandths of an inch or something. I don't know what this line is. This is some really tiny lines. There we go. Let's get that edge. Just press a little bit. And I got that edge, the one floating out there, that line. See, I don't like that. So I come back. I hit my eraser. Uh, let me get, make sure we're on the eraser and make sure we dial up a thicker brush. And then just go in there and erase that purple line underneath. See it? Taking it away. Yeah. Now there's some shadowy stuff in there that I'm not fond of. So let's find out the layer that that's on. It might be in the purple color layer. Yeah, yeah. See, some of that's disappearing up nice. Yeah, and then let's go down on one more layer. Line work, it might be in even there. Or the line work below that. So, let's see. 
It's not that, it's not that. Did I throw it in the orange? Nope. Wing detail. Yes, there it is. See, so taking it out nicely. It's always a fine tune in the way I work because I do some bizarre stuff. You know, I don't care if I paint outside the lines because I know I can come back and get rid of my errors. And I'm not afraid to do that. Okay, let's go back to the current layer that we're on and put the purple line in again up there at uh, accents. This is some beautiful classical music in my mind here while we're doing this on the headset. I play some of those epic soundtracks that they have on YouTube. YouTube's where I get most of my music nowadays. It's just so easy. You know, they you type in any band, anything you want, it comes right up. And with the epic soundtracks, some of those run for, you know, hours and hours so let's see here Nice. Oh yeah, this is really nice. We are coming along pretty good. I'm not sure how many minutes I'm into this one for part five, but um, I think we're doing really, really, really good. So let's let's scale this down a little bit. Let's see where we're at in part five. That looks pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna thinking for a minute here. Hmm. Let's come across the center and then we're gonna call this a video. We're gonna turn this wing here. So watch careful. I'm gonna do a shadow in the deepest per a really deep purple. Through the middle, that's going to look kind of bizarre, but uh, here we go. Just watch the accent. Let me get a bigger tip. Brush size. I'm going to waft it in, as I call it, and just kind of adding some in there. Coming up on a diagonal. Oh yeah, yep, right through the centers, a little bit near that red dot, I'm pulling it back, see, give it some dimension, shadows, now this may even get a little mechanical, I may put some dials in this if I feel like it, uh, pretty cool. So let me get a little black shadow going here. So add some black in there. Black's not my particular fave, but if you get some high contrast sometimes, just a little, it kind of tells you where a really dark area might be. Remember to feather things, you know. Wow, that's freaking cool, man. Let's come back into here. You can see it. Oh, yeah. 
this is how you really get that very refined stylized look of mine this is a very slow build man so the work is paying off you know very difficult to get here we've done five sessions man I'm loving it don't get me wrong all right let's save this now I'm going to pop this up on YouTube and I'll get back to y'all later. Let me just pan back one more time so we can see that. Give it a nice rotation, bring it up. I think I want to uh, show that wing. Let me, uh, let's see. Let's, we're still playing with this. We're going to turn this a little bit for a nice picture. You know, when I put it up there, I want to, uh, save it like right there. Oh man, this wing is epic. I don't care if it takes a hundred hours to get to where I want, because I don't know what I want when I first start these things, but I know what I want once I'm into them. That's a beauty. And I'm going to save this as a JPEG. Um, let's see. Save as... Uh, wait, I'm going to... Um, JPEG it save export as a JPEG JPEG and that'll be good at uh, 72 DPI so next and I'm saving that in the angel wings yes boom okay let's uh, let's call that a wrap folks thanks for tuning in um, hmm, what did I do there? Yeah, 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 saving, make sure we save this, save as, Boom. okay, now I'm going to cut it, I just get paranoid, you know, so where do I cut off, stop recording, there we